This is Ethan, and I'm here with Dave, and together we are Dave and Ethan's 2,000-inch Weird Al podcast, episode 186-inch. On this episode, we chat with Pickles Kintaro, creator of the tight and nerdy Weird Al burlesque troupe, along with Showgals the Movie producer and director, U.H. Jeff Nussera. It's Dave and Ethan's 2,000-inch Weird Al podcast. It's a podcast about Weird Al. It's Dave and Ethan's 2,000-inch Seriously, the whole podcast is about Weird Al. You don't have to listen, but we're glad you are. Well, it's been a busy couple of weeks for both of us and for Weird Al. And we have so much to get to and so little time. So without any further ado, it's time for What's Happening in Weird Al Related News. Well, this one goes out to all of our listeners down under. You can finally, legally, watch Weird the Al Yankovic Story starting on March 2nd on Paramount+. Plus. Crikey! And to all of our listeners who live on commercial airplane flights and or cruise ships, Anuvu will exclusively distribute Weird the Al Yankovic Story for aviation and maritime markets globally starting in May, which means you too can finally legally watch the film. Crikey! And in other exciting news that also happens to originate from Australia, you can now pre-order Weird the Al Yankovic Story on DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K Ultra HD, featuring an introduction by Weird Al, behind-the-scenes featurettes, and the theatrical trailer featuring Ethan and myself. Head on over to shop.umbrellaent.com. Dot .au to pre-order. And while you're there, you can also choose from two collectors bundles. The bundles include items such as a custom pattern Hawaiian shirt, a 48-page bound book called Getting Weird: The Story of Weird, eight art cards, and a slipcase. Now it's our understanding that the 4K Ultra HD disc will be region free. However, the Blu-ray will be region B and the DVD is region 4. So be aware before ordering. You may just want it if you're a collector and not to actually watch it if you're outside of Australia. Crikey! Among all of the amazing nominations Weird the Al Yankovic Story has been getting, we are so excited to share that Jamie Kennedy, the editor of Weird the Al Yankovic Story, herself has been nominated. That's right, Jamie has been nominated for the American Cinema Editor's Eddie Award for Best Edited Feature Film Non-Theatrical. I bet she was nominated for all of those great edits of us as bikers. Well, from all of us here at Dave and Ethan's 2008 Weird Al podcast, congratulations on the nomination, Jamie. In the time since our most recent Inch episode, the Weird the Al Yankovic Story soundtrack was officially released on Compact Disc, a.k.a. CD. It is really exciting to finally get a new Weird Al physical release that doesn't feature his 2017 cover of Beat on the Brat. Oh, absolutely, Dave. Yeah, and this one only features his 2022 cover of Beat on the Brat. Well, the packaging on this CD and the artwork are beautiful. We cannot wait for both versions of the vinyl release, which are still set for May. This episode is brought to you in part by Vegan Burrito Restaurant Burrito Burrito in Troy, New York, home of the two-pound double wrap to quesadilla, burrito burrito, and wizard burger in Albany, New York. Come on down to Burrito Burrito and Burrito Burrito, your Burrito Burrito, or hop on over to Wizard Burger for mouth-watering loaded, dare I say, beefy vegan burgers. From Troy to Albany to Uranus, Burrito Burrito and Wizard Burger feed the hunger with out-of-this-world, plant-based, real food, Always vegan style. Visit burritosquared.com and wizardburger.com to order ahead. Now we have some sad news to share. Actor and comedian Richard Belzer has passed away at the age of 78. Weird Al fans may recall Richard performing Cut the Grief with Weird Al on the 1986 Comic Relief television special, which was then later released on the Best of Comic Relief VHS. From all of us here at Dave and Ethan's 2000 It's Weird Al podcast, Gil and Chill in Peace, Richard Belzer. In other award news, the Weird Al Pinball Machine, officially known as Weird Al's Museum of Natural Hilarity, took home three awards at the Pinball Awards 2022. Those awards included Best Call Out, Best Innovation, and Best Toys. 
from all of us here at Dave and Ethan's 2000 Inch Weird Al podcast, congratulations to the team behind Weird Al's Museum of Natural Hilarity. The 2023 leg of the unfortunate return of the ridiculously self indulgent ill advised vanity tour is well underway. After five incredible, and take it from me, Five incredible shows in the Midwest USA. Weird Al and his band are currently off touring Europe. Our reviews of the epic Carnegie Hall show, as well as the first five 2023 tour dates, will be up on our Patreon page over at patreon.com slash 2000 inch very soon. If you want to hear them as soon as humanly possible, be sure to sign up over at patreon.com slash 2000 inch, because not only will you get immediate early access to these episodes when they're released, you'll also be supporting the podcast. It's a win-win! In other exciting news, the Kickstarter campaign for Showgals the Movie, a documentary, a look into the world of tight and nerdy, the burlesque troupe devoted to Weird Al Yankovic, is also well underway. Dave and I have both pledged our monetary support, and we urge you to do the same. Tell all of your weird friends. We just know they will love the message and content of this incredible documentary. But don't think that's it, because Dave and I alone can't do this incredible film the justice it deserves. We have two very special guests, our great friend, the incredible U.H. Jeff Nucera, and star of Showgals the Movie, a documentary, Pickles Kintaro. Welcome to the podcast. Yay, Pickles! Hello! <laughs> it's so great to have both of you on. Jeff, welcome back. Pickles, welcome to the show. Oh my gosh. Thank you for having me. I'm a huge fan. Thank you for having us. Yes. <laughs> I think you're the first person we've ever had on the show named Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I think. We'll have to have Frank check on that. <laughs> so, obviously, we've heard about the movie for years, Jeff. You talked about it on episode three inch when you were first a guest on the show. <laughs> Which no one heard, from what I understand. <laughs> But now it's actually, you know, in the process of, of, of moving forward. You guys have the Kickstarter launched. There's 16 days left as of the posting of this show for people to donate. But we got to start from the beginning. Pickles, you actually started Tight and Nerdy. Can you tell us about that? I can. I can apologize right now for it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I found it Tight and Nerdy. Um, I was a baby burlesker and I was a huge Weird Al fan and there was a call for show themes and I was like I want it let's do an all Weird Al burlesque show and everybody was like ah, no and so I was like, I'm gonna do it myself because I think this has value and I think that this is something that the world needs to see so I got together some of the best broads in the industry and put together a show and it was a success and and we proved that weird al and nudity and hilarity and deli meat all go together <laughs> <laughs> well we already knew that deli meat and nudity went together so I'm glad we <laughs> <laughs> got al in the mix so you know so pickles you are a, a huge weird al fan are the other show gals are they also weird al fans they are um and it was so funny because i knew I knew that two of the four, core four were, and uh, Pearly Gates, I wasn't sure she liked Weird Al, and she ended up having the most touching, like, amazing Weird Al story of how she came to be a fan than all of us, and I was like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> we're, we're all Al fans. We love and we appreciate Al and the band. And and yeah, we just, we love them. Oh, how sweet. So uh, I guess I'd love to hear a little bit more about some of the other performers, but I do want to also make sure that besides Weird Al, you also love burlesque dancing. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I I do. I, I joke that I don't, but um I, I do. It's it's a lot. It was something that I did uh, you know, kind of as an expression of myself. 
myself. I loved to perform. I loved being on stage. I'm kind of okay with getting nude in front of people. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, it was like my one outlet to perform and I am so grateful for it. Um, I learned so much about myself and about life and I made some of the best friends a person could possibly ask for. And can you tell us about your burlesque name and your catchphrase? Uh, so yes, I am um, Pickles Kintaro. And I am the gherkin with a merkin. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it's a long story short, a friend had created this character, uh, named Pickles Quintara, and uh, we were worked in comic books. And she was an agent of Hydra, uh, Hail Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and the name always stuck with me and I loved it. And when it came time to pick a name, I was like, I don't want to be a kitten or a DeVille or, you know, a lady. I'm certainly not a lady. So um, <laughs> you know, Pickles Kintaro just kind of came into my brain. And I don't know, it's like slightly Asian. It's slightly phallic. It's super funny. <laughs> <laughs> it compliments deli meat very well. Cop, you know, you can't have a good Reuben without a pickle on the side. So, <laughs> it all works. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> that's a Reuben, not a Reuben. Just right. all clear. <laughs> so I would love to hear about, I mean, I've seen the, the, the trailer and I've seen some of the footage that Jeff has shared. And I mean, it just, it looks like titan nerdy is just like the most fun you can have outside of seeing weird al himself but what what kind of things are you guys doing when you do the the performances um you know besides the amazing acts which are all our our like sparkly weird love letters to al um i try to really create a full environment you know from the minute you walk in that door i want it to feel i want it to feel special and you know i work with the venue sometimes to create themed cocktails <laughs> um past cocktails have been i want a new duck which came with a rubber duck um, mm. uhf uhf actually came with a video cassette of my ch our, cho our choice i went and bought like a hundred video cassettes on <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah so you would just get a random vhs tape <laughs> no we had um we have we have merch and we would have a costume contest trivia we we did karaoke one year you know and and i just wanted it to be something that really fans of al could celebrate al at not at a concert because i feel like there's not enough opportunities to do that absolutely and i mean you know it's always so much fun getting to hang out and and chat with and and just have fun with other Weird Al fans. So it sounds like your shows are exactly that. Absolutely. I really, I really try. And I'm sure that like some of the producers I have worked with in the past don't like me because I'm very particular, but like when you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you don't. And so, you know, it's, it's hard to have to kind of explain the hows and whys, but like, <laughs> hopefully they'll just trust me and everybody will have a real good time. <laughs> <laughs> For people who maybe haven't seen the trailer or have never been to a burlesque show or, or really don't understand it, it's not, you know, it's not stripping. It's not going to a strip club. Can you tell us what, you know, what to expect when you go to a burlesque show or especially a Weird Al burlesque show? Um, yeah, like a Weird Al burlesque show, you're going to laugh a lot. Like you're going to laugh and we're going to make you feel kind of like, you know, like you did when you were in gym class and you climbed the rope or like when Bugs Bunny had a dress on. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be like, okay, this is really funny. It's also kind of sexy in, like, the weirdest <laughs> possible way. And, and, like, I want you to walk out of there a little sexually confused. Like, I, you know, you're not going to feel, like, shame. But you're going to be like, that was really hot. But I don't know. That was also really weird. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. I want people... I want people to feel empowered. I want people to see faces like theirs and bodies like theirs on a stage. Um, we're not, if you're looking for like a glamorous Dita Von Teese show, we're not it. And that's okay. There's room for Dita and there's room for us. So uh, yeah, 
I, basically, it's like, like I said, nudity, hilarity, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, but like, you know, it, at the core, you're dancing to Weird Al songs. I mean, you could call what I do dancing, but that. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, we are. We are like we have some amazing dancers. Um, you know, honestly, it's kind of the way I think of this show. It's more like like sketch comedy with nudity. Hmm. Okay. Right. So, but it's like not pure nudity. It's like naked adjacent, right? I get pretty naked. <laughs> you do, you do. But like yeah. the super naughty bits are obscured. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's we're not we don't show all. I mean, that that would cost more than tens of dollars. Um, <laughs> it's like a naughty, cheeky, funny thing. You know, at the very heart of it, we're vaudeville. Um, you know, right. we are here to delight and entertain. Um, if you want something harder and heavier, there's clubs for that. And, you know, you'll be bummed out. Uh, but, maybe a little confused, but yeah. Well, if we go to a tight and nerdy show, Pickles, tell us, you know, what we can really expect us. What are, who are the other performers and, uh, what sort of Weird Al songs are we going to get to hear? I mean, honestly, you'll get to hear a little bit of everything. We run the gamut from like OG Al to like his latest, his latest, latest songs. Um, you know, everybody, everybody really loves Weird Al. And so we really strive to just bring the best. Uh, Marlis, Mistress Marla Spanks is like the, the funniest lunch lady you've ever seen. <laughs> um, you know, I'll have what she's serving. Um, Aja, Aja is like our, our intimidating queen who, you know, somehow does comedy and she's she's brilliant. Pearlie's like a firecracker. Uh, and then some of our, you know, our sister, uh, our sisters in weirdness, Sophie Maltese and uh, the infamous Nina Nightshade, like, God, Nina will bore holes through your soul and, <laughs> and you will want more. And, you know, uh, Sophie just brings this like relentless joy. And, you know, no one has ever looked that sexy wearing a Dukes of Hazard ashtray. So, <laughs> <laughs> You've we'll never see, seen we'll me be wearing one. <laughs> I actually think the ashtray broke. I think it broke going through security and we were all oh, devastated. No. Yeah, there oh, was no. devastation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We didn't have cameras there. I've asked you not to uh, move forward with story without us. <laughs> I know. I, we're, since we've started this documentary, we can't get arrested. We can't die. <laughs> we can't have operations. Like, Jeff's like, please call me. And um, I actually got a, a Weird Al themed tattoo. Uh, in November, and I, you know, there's video of it that, like, Jeff was like, "Can you record?" <laughs> Can you record horizontal and not vertical, please. <laughs> All right, I, I really want to hear about Jeff, how you approached pickles and how this all came to be. But I think we got to take this time to talk about the Kickstarter real quick. Go to showgalsthemovie.com, go to beartobestupid.com and pledge on the Kickstarter. There's some really awesome reward levels. And even if you're not in it for the rewards, it you know, the film, the complete film is going to be the ultimate reward getting to see Showgal's documentary. So with that plug out of the way, uh, <laughs> Jeff, how did you approach Pickles? What was her reaction to, you know, the the documentary idea how did you guys meet i just i'm so curious to hear about this yeah how did i approach pickles let's see so uh-huh uh so our friend ludovica uh messaged me when when tight and nerdy were were coming to la and said you have to go see this show everyone needs you to go see this show um and she specifically <laughs> said john katz normally writes reviews of these kinds of things and he's out of town so please go to the show and report back and i was like okay so adriana yugovich and i and a few other people went to the show uh and we were like holy crap balls what is this <laughs> Another friend of mine that was there said, I feel like I'm in an institution. I don't know what's happening. 
<laughs> but I'm into it. And we were all like, yeah, we're into this. You know, the, the themed cocktails, one of them was uh, the, the Amish Paradise, which can you tell us what that is, Pickles? Um, that's an ice cold glass of milk. Or yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we were like, we we're on board for this uh, craziness. And we saw, you know, we saw that night, we saw uh, performances of, of, of things like Bob and CNR and, and Amish Paradise and Edith. So they, they really... Four songs with wonderful music videos. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so we were, I mean, there were just like everything from that catalog is like fair game. Um, and so we were very excited. We met Pickles after the show and, and uh, she is just awesome. And then, uh, you know, a few, I don't even, was it days maybe, Pickles? Um, I, I get a message on Facebook from Pickles going, hey, hey, do you think there's a, a documentary here? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, every, anytime anyone says that to me, I'm like, oh, automatically, I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, but then I talked to her and I, and I spoke with Pearly and Mistress Marla Spanks and, and Odessa Lil. And, and between the four of them, I was like, oh my God, the story is insane and amazing. And it's sort of this this powerful tale of like learning to find your place in the world. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a story that we all, I think, can identify with. Like we've all been bullied. We've all been um, isolated and felt like a misfit at some point, I'm sure. And then we see Weird Al with, with him kind of looking like a, like Weird Al. <laughs> right. And, and making fun of the, of the cool kids and sort of saying, it's okay to be weird. And so it became this story of like, of, of that. It, it's this universal tale of, of just love and support and body positivity and, and yeah, deli meat. <laughs> <laughs> Pickles, when did you start Titan Nerdy and how long before Jeff came into the picture? Oh gosh. I think I, st oh God, I it was either 2010 or or 2011 like we're pushing a decade on this now wow yeah and i like it was a good like two years before i reached out to jeff about it um you know i always thought that it would make a really good story the the people that i tour with are amazing and they are they're just like i it's not even about me. If I wasn't even the documentary, I'd be fine with it. But I want the world to see them. I want the world to see these incredible people and performers that I have put together to bring weirdness to the world because the world needs a little bit more of our weirdness. And it's also, it's bringing other Weird Al fans together. I mean, certainly through the podcast, Dave and I have met so many incredible listeners who are just like these Weird Al super fans all over the globe. And I feel like this documentary and, and what you do with Titan Nerdy has that same opportunity to to bring people out of the woodwork and and make these like lifelong connections with uh, new friends. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm so I'm so thankful for my time and I'm so thankful for this whole experience, this whole crazy, weird, naked, sparkly train. I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, and it's, like, it's not always easy. You know, we're all people with lives and families. And, you know, some of us have kids. Some of us have grandkids now. Like, and Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> is it you, Jeff? It is. You'll have it to is. watch the movie. <laughs> all right. You know I will. <laughs> but, yeah, like, it's I, I can't wait for the world to see this. Well, what do they have to do to see this, guys? Open your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> go to bear to be stupid .com and then open your wallet <laughs> before we go i think you got to tell us about some of these awesome prizes and by some of these awesome prizes tell us about the pasties <laughs> <laughs> oh god the pasties are by far the most exciting of the rewards it seems <laughs> they are an add-on um for for uh, supporters um they uh I, I don't have the price in front of me but they they are um they're designed by kelly phillips um author of weird me and and um several other 
owl related project. She's in the, uh, the illustrated owl that just came out recently. Um, and she designed this really awesome, uh, burlesque, uh, <laughs> uh, logo with, with, uh, this, this woman has, you know, an ice cream on her forehead, ice cream cone, uh, a la dare to be stupid. She's kind of tattooed. She's pretty great. Um, and she's on the pasties. Um, <laughs> And she may appear in some other things too. Oh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so uh, they are it is so it just makes me so happy to see these. <laughs> <laughs> Pickles, We've... have you have you tried on any prototypes or anything? I have not. Um, I will tell you, like since pandemic and lockdown, I have mainly kept my clothes on, and it's weird, people. <laughs> 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 well, we hope that changes soon. <laughs> I don't know. I've been locked down for like you know three years. Are you sure? <laughs> as long Wait. as you get the weird owl pasties, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Just pour yourself a glass of milk and buckle up. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's we've so got, awesome. Yeah, we've got pasties, Blu-rays. Uh, there, there's a there's an autographed show gallander, mm -hmm. which is a 2024 uh, calendar with uh, with photos of the show gals on them. Oh, autographed. Sweet. How about all that? Wearing, all wearing the pasties. <laughs> TBD. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know about Dave, but how do I join? How how can I be a a, a Titan nerdy member? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you can absolutely do that. <laughs> Careful, Ethan, because she will recruit you. I will recruit you. I, I have no problem recruiting you. Like, okay. We have like... had, we've had dudes in the show. Um, you know, we've had non binary, we've had trans, we've had, you know, male, female, everybody. Everybody is welcome. Everybody has a place. Honestly, you don't even need to take your clothes off. I mean, burlesque. I don't think people want me to take my clothes off. <laughs> Ethan Burlesque is all about the art of the tea. So if you want to go up there and take off your Hawaiian shirt and that is it, that's good. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> what what song will, will Ethan be performing to? Uh, let's see. I'm going to say something easy like Albuquerque. <laughs> that would be the longest strip tease ever. <laughs> the um, only performance with an intermission. <laughs> honestly, I have always wanted to figure out how somebody would um, do uh, six words long. Um, oh, well, that's that's got Jeff written all over it. Uh, you know, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. Ethan, if you want to do it, you don't even. I'll give you classes. We'll workshop your act together and we'll get you on the stage with us. Awesome. I'm doing it. Oh. <laughs> I smell a special feature. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, my uh, Ethan's burlesque boot camp special feature on the Blu ray. <laughs> sold and sold. Get yours now at daretobestupid.com. <laughs> We just need to find someone to shave my back for a nickel, and then I'll be <laughs> stage ready. <laughs> we can offer it as a prize. <laughs> okay. <laughs> shave Ethan's back. <laughs> Honestly, Ethan, it's not necessary. You were welcome on that stage just the way you are. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Well, congratulations to Shogals the movie for, for becoming an official Kickstarter project we love. You definitely want to check this out. You definitely want to get in while you still can. There's still plenty of opportunity to, to get in and to get reserve yourself those excellent pasties and get all the amazing perks from heading on over to the Kickstarter. It's BearToBeStupid.com. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Pickle, so much for joining us. This has been a blast. Thank you for having us. Thank you. This was so much fun. It was such an honor. And thank you for all you do for the Weird Al community because it takes a village. Once again, a huge, huge thank you to Pickles and Jeff for joining us, for putting together Tight and Nerdy in this documentary. We are so excited and we urge you right now, go over to BearToBeStupid.com and pledge your support. Tell your friends, we need to make this movie happen. This episode is brought to you in part by Discover Darwin, promoting tourism in Darwin, Minnesota. Not only is historic Darwin, Minnesota, uh, beautiful, it's also delicious.
Hmm, all this talk about pickles has got me hungry. Uh, this is a family-friendly podcast. I know, I know. I'm just thinking about my favorite restaurant in the entire world that happens to also be located in Darwin, Minnesota. Oh, I suppose you mean the Darwin Tavern? That's the place. I just want to go there and order a basket of mini corn dogs. Hey, hey, hey family friendly, Ethan. Dave. Oh, wait a minute. Is that because with the basket of mini corn dogs, not only do you get a choice of sauce, but also pickles? That's exactly why, Dave. When I think basket of mini corn dogs, I think pickles. Well, I know what I want. The locker plant special? Nope. The breaded fish that's served with coal space slaw? Not that either. In honor of tight and nerdy, I want the naked hamburger. What's the naked hamburger? I'm not really sure, but I definitely, definitely want it. So visit Darwin, Minnesota on your next munch expedition. Discover Darwin, more than just the twine ball. And after you visit Darwin, Minnesota, be sure to attempt to visit discoverdarwin.biz. Dave and Ethan's 2008 Weird Al podcast is brought to you absolutely free thanks to our incredible sponsors, Burrito Burrito, Jackson Scoggins, and Discover Darwin. Our podcast is also supported by everyone in our Patreon family, with special thanks to our amazing close personal friend level Patreon supporters, Scott, UH Jeff, Nancy, Mike, Matthew, Kenneth, Gus and Alicia, Allison, Adriana, Ajax, Jake, Zeb, Zach, Dana B, Blair, Kev, and Javier. Also thanks to our newest Patreon supporter, Patrick, and everyone else in our pretty stinking majestic Patreon family. If you enjoy our philatically freaky and family-friendly Weird Al podcast, please consider supporting us at patreon.com slash 2000inch. There are awesome benefits like getting your name on the podcast, your own private RSS feed, and access to secret episodes. And now would be a good time to join if you have not joined already, because not only will you be the first to hear our longest ridiculously self-indulgent bonus episode to date, which happens to be our concert review from the world famous Carnegie Hall in New York City, you will also be the first to hear our brand new 2023 ridiculously self-indulgent bonus episodes once they drop. And don't forget to check out our official merchandise over at shop.2000inch.com. All proceeds for purchases go directly towards supporting our fine podcast. And attention all philatelists, be sure to pick up your very own 2,000-inch Weird Al Podcast logo tote bag. It's the perfect size for carrying your stamp albums, hinges and mounts, tweezers, magnifying glasses, perforation gauges, watermark detectors, and stamp lifting fluid. And if you fancy a t-shirt, maybe order a size up just in case you need to cover a hole in your pants. And we love hearing from our listeners and other Weird Al fans. So be sure to join our Facebook community over at group.2000inch.com and make sure you visit our Discord server for even more riveting Weird Al and Red Rump the Goody related conversations. You can find both of them linked on our website as well as information about past episodes and guests over at weirdalpodcast.com or 2000inch.com. And while you're there, click on ridiculously self-indulgent bonus episodes to follow along with our adventures on tour or black and white and weird all over bonus episodes for our special series where author John Bermuda Schwartz walks us through his first book page by page and picture by picture. Keep up on new episodes, podcast news and events by following at 2000 inch on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe everywhere you listen to podcasts so you do not miss a single episode. And not only does subscribing help the podcast, it helps you detect any hidden watermarks on your valuable and rare stamps. Plus, we also love it when we receive voicemail via our official patent-pending 27-hour-a-day podcast hotline, 347 Spatula, as seen in the Illustrated Owl. That number is 347-772-8852. Give it a call, and you might even hear your message in a future episode. Thank you once again to our guests, Pickle Kintaro and UH Jeff Nucera. We also want to thank Allison Parsons, Jeremy Samples, Jake Larson, Chuck Gonzalez, Jillian Hinton, Blair Freeman, Jason McDonald, Dustin Jablonski, Patrick Gaffney, Wendy Lippert, Johnny O'Hearn, Greg Method, and our friends over at the American Philatelic Society. Thank you to the Grammy Award winning Jim Kimo West for our incredible podcast theme song. And thank you to Weird Al Yankovic, as this podcast probably would not exist without him. And a big thank you to all of you, our loyal listeners, subscribers, Patreon supporters and sponsors, and everyone else who makes our podcast possible. Thank you for choosing Dave and Ethan's 2008 Weird Al Podcast. 
And until next time, remember to kill and chill. Oh, it was so much fun to talk to Pickles and Jeff this episode. I am really excited to finally see Showgals the movie when it comes out and also to catch a tight and nerdy show next time they perform in my area. Oh, Dave, you took the words right out of my mouth. I 100% absolutely agree. And I'm really excited to finally see you, Ethan, up on stage performing Albuquerque. Ah, uh, yes, that will be quite the sight to see, I'll tell you. Just wait until you see what I do when I get to the lyrics about the donuts. You know what would be cool? If both you and I came up with an act and we performed it together. Ah, uh, which song should we do? Well, the obvious choice would definitely be... Young, Dumb, and Ugly! No, no, I was thinking... I'm so sick of you. No, 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 my thought was... Beat on the Brat? Uh, Amazing Grapes? Let me be your hog? Dave, no, it would be... Dave and Ethan's 2,000 inch. Ah, you get the joke. That was Dave and Ethan's 2,000 inch Weird Al podcast episode 186 inch. Mikey. Like, you know, like you did when you were in gym class and you climbed the rope or like when Bugs Bunny had a dress on.